So hello devs, hope you all are doing pretty well. So today we are going to start our coding where we left it out. Okay, so we are at this point. So first of all, let me write the code for command which I left it in the previous video. Since we are using this press mouse, so I think you people can't get this thing because why I am writing this and all. You people may get confused in this. So let me write this command first of all. Okay, so this enum we have already created. So let me write this thing. Press. So why we are going for this enum? Because we prior know that what we are going to uh, do in our server screen. So like press mouse, release mouse, release key, like that thing which we are going to do. So we will write press mouse and uh, for the enum we will give any index like minus 1 then press key then we will give it ok so first of all for mouse we will write release mouse release mouse minus 2 and then press key minus 3 and then release key Four. Okay. Now we will write for move mouse since we are going to move we will give us minus 5. Now we will make one int type of variable which is private type private int abrev it will be rev abrev equal to okay we are not going to initialize it. So first of all write co double m and this commands like a constructor you can say and the int abrev and we are going to initialize this abrev as this dot abrev okay and one more thing we are going to use getter so public void get, get return abrev okay so this is it for command job java which we are using here uh, for passing any command from our client screen to server screen ok so let's write our new method that is mouse entered so public void ok so mouse entered is basically meant for changing the state of mouse ok so let's write another thing the copy and uh, paste and just I will change mouse entered and mouse okay mm, and the one more thing we are missing motion event e so same thing here also we have to provide motion event e so mouse entered and mouse exited over and the time is for key typed so again copy this and paste it here and change this as change it as key typed whenever you are going to type any thing from your keypad then this method is going to take place and uh, apart from that again public void key pressed so if you are pressing any key so this method is key pressing and uh, for key event this will take care from key event so for key typed what is this same thing key event we have to use key event and here also key event e now writer dot print ln and then same c o w m n commands dot to copy press key paste it here press key and dot get abbreviation ok now writer dot print ln then what we have to do in this e dot get key code so why we are writing e dot get key code because each keyword key is having one certain key code which is very unique and that's how our computer get to know ok you have pressed this key got it so for that reason e dot get key code and again writer dot plus as usual writer dot plus okay so so at last we have to use this 
release key one so just copy it out and uh, yes it's it will be better if we'll paste this code because we are going to do slight modification in this because since we are going to write key releasing this thing so r e l e a s e d key released key event is same thing commands dot in place of this we'll write will okay sorry so again go and copy it out come here for the key press you just paste it and dot get every correct e dot get key code again you have to get the key and then the flushing will be done okay so i guess this is pretty much fine and uh, let's save it control s again for this also it is already saved so we are done with our all six classes okay so let's open our command prompt for running this program because client side is already done so we have to go to our command prompt and change drive to e since see where it is located e and client then send event.java set i will let me minimize it and i will show you one thing open see here so we have to just give the compilation for this start.java we have to save and let's check everything is saved or not each and every program has to be saved before running start the job why we are running we start the job because this is our entry point see here here is our main method which is located so we have to run this program itself and it will take care of all the things because the authentication class is here and here it will move from authentication we have created the frame so it will move to created frame and then from here we have given two classes receiving screen and send event so we will receive the screen first of all and then we will send the event from send event we have done the enum creation which will take care of this class okay so just give the compilation for this start and everything will work fine so let's start cmd again and change drive to okay e and in e change drive to client now again so java c start dot java so let me check this oh my goodness see 44 error is there in our code okay so some simple error we have given see here like we forgot to mention io exception we have to give here no import java dot io dot io exception we have to give so we forgot that thing so similarly here also typo mistake is there so i guess that type of error is only there so first of all do the changing here in your authentication class you come and you just write this io exception since it was exception and in the same class we have to come here and we have to write input okay so do the meaningful changing here we forgot to write ut so now you come here and then write print stack trace okay so again you can see it here here we have written width but what about this here we have changed the spelling so we have to write it correctly so i think it's fine again you can see it here e dot print stack trace okay save it don't forget to save each and every time okay so this is our authentication class which is now error free so you can see it i will move it down somewhat you can see it clearly okay so this is our class which is now error free now we have to go to our create frame class just save it and go to create frame then i will tell you what are all the error which we have to rectify so you have to see we have forgot to keep parenthesis over here so just keep it there and save it now you can see we have forgot to place t here so set default close operation okay so only this much error we are having uh, some sort of error already we have solved so let's open our cmd and uh, we have to go to e drive then change drive to client and then we'll write start java c start dot java now java start so now you can see here please enter server ip address now you have to enter the server ip address uh, through which your system is going to be connected 
so a yeah, server IP address will be what like uh, suppose for my system only I will check it out so I will write again cmd another command from dial open then IP config and yeah. since I am not connected to any internet let me connect via my network so this is my RV let me connect to my network yeah it's connected so let me run this command again so here is my IP before address so suppose if this is only my server then I have to put this 192, 168, 43, 168 over here so this IP we have to enter here and then we have to hit the OK button and that's it so here since connection is refused because we have still not connected to server because since server has to start its connection first of all and he has to give the authentication detail like password which we have already set it over here and server has to run the first then only client will be going to connect it with that so this is working pretty much fine so let me run this one more time so that you can be pretty sure that it's working okay so we have to give just IP address over here and then it will connect to your server so for that we have to create another program okay close this now we will see the server side program in our next tutorial and for that I will make a separate series like that is for server side okay so this is all for client side program we are done with this and hope you like the video so if you really like this video please do comment share and subscribe and don't forget to hit the like button thank you guys for watching my tutorial